Hi guys, I'm Monk7Mad and today we're going to be doing a nice little tutorial and this is the colour flash and you know I'm not going to go too into de in, in depth with this, I'm just showing you the technique um, the idea of syncing it with music I'm still trying to get the concept of because I'm awful at picking music to go in my uh, my pieces and you know if you want me to do a, a full one where I do um, color correction then sync it to the music then sync that to a flash you'll have to let me know in the comment section below for the time being like I said I'm just going to show you the technique and today you know I think this is really quite a nice uh, little tutorial because you know I watch a lot of these sort of tutorials and some people pull them off really well some people explain it horribly and can completely confuse and some can explain it nice and it just doesn't work okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of compromise on all of those I'm going to get one that's easy one that works and I'm going to make it so you can actually see the effect in play because I've seen some which just sort of tell you how to do it and don't show you and you know there's a there's a, <laughs> a very big mixture when it comes to these sort of tutorials so I'm going to call this Flash like Flash Gordon okay right so we've got our video clip we've got our music you don't even need the music it's just you know what you want it's, it's your preference here now I've got a bit of music in the video and what I'm going to do is I want the flash to sort of appear on the screen like perhaps every time I shoot the gun for example how about that we'll, we'll try and sync it to the gun shots that that I can no, I can manage um, and what we're going to do first off okay right I'll have to explain this in a way that I've noticed every tutorial I've seen has actually already had a color correction on their on their video before they've done this tutorial okay now to point out I have tried it without the color correction and it does not work anywhere near as effective okay so the first step would actually be to create a, a color correction now obviously the most effective one for that would be magic bullet looks now in the previous uh, tutorial I actually made a color correction which is ideal um, for this and there is actually a free download for that so what I'll do at the end of the video, oh, not select children, at the end of the video I will put a link in to uh, the previous video and you can go and download the colour correction because it, it actually works pretty much ideal for what we want to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag magic bullet looks onto the colour correction and we're doing this on an adjustment layer and the reason we're doing it on an adjustment layer is because then the, the colour correction can go beneath it and it, it sort of fits in a lot neater and it doesn't look as sort of scrappy now in the last tutorial I made the giveaway that one there that's it right there and all we're actually going to do is just get rid of this anamorphic flare and that's the only difference I'm gonna make to this color correction and it's quite a nice little color correction really sort of enhances the image which you can quite clearly see straight away and what we're gonna do now is right th this is a simple way for faster pieces um, Oh, what I'll do is I'll actually, I know a guy who does it pretty well, so I'll, I'll try and put a link in him as well. Um, but what we're going to do, we'll, we'll do it quite slow for the time being. What we'll do is, right, we're going to actually open up the audio on the video layer. Right, <clears throat> and to do that, there's a shortcut where you double tap L on your keyboard and it brings up the waveform. So here we can see some bullets are coming out about here and then by, let's turn this down for a little bit right and then it looks like the sniper shots are there there and there which um, yeah they're, they're spot on so what we're gonna do is we actually need to build say we're building it in sync to music imagine this is music which it is technically what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna build a, a separate layer which we which will control manually okay so what we do is we're gonna go opposite click new and we're gonna click solid Right now, this is actually where you can sort of customize it yourself. We want it to be the composition size. The color's completely up to you. To be honest, I would actually go with this method that I'm going to do, where you make it white. Okay, so it's very bright. Whoa, let's make that fit screen. Okay, so it's pretty bright. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and find the option called fill, which I believe is in generate. Yep generate the fill and we're going to drag that on to the white solid that we just made and you control the color that you want the flash to be from here because we're going to be duplicating this layer to change the color and it's a lot easier than making say 
go new, solid, new, solid, so on and so forth, and cutting it down. So what we'll do is we'll actually leave it as red for the time being. Red's quite a good colour to use. And we're going to change the blending mode. So we're going to go on top of it, opposite click, blending mode, and we're going to change it to add. Now at the moment it's still ridiculously bright, and I do apologise if it's too bright on the screen. And you're going to drag it beneath... Let's just turn it off for a minute so you don't go blind. And you, what you do is you'll put it beneath the colour correction. And if you press T on your keyboard, and you just change the opacity, say 50 for the time being. In fact, no, actually 50 would do perfectly fine anyway. So turn it to 50. All right, and it's, it's still bright, but it's not as bright. Now, I'm actually going to make that smaller because that's actually hurting my eyes. Um... Okay, so what we'll do is we're actually going to have to open up that video waveform again. So we'll double tap L on the keyboard. All right, and we want to match it to the gunshot. So here's one. And I'll show you another little shortcut keyboard that we'll do. We want to be able to cut this layer instead of going to the end and dragging it forward. If you actually press Alt on your keyboard and you've got two square brackets, one that um, has the the back left and the little prongs pointing inwards right um, you want to hold alt and press that and it cuts it and we want to do more or less the same thing but with the other bracket so it's long end is on the right and it's little prongs are facing in left and we've sort of cut the layer down straight away no problem no hassle and we actually want to make it the length of the shot so what I'll do is I'm actually going to compare it to this one uh, say we'll have it there. Just I've just cropped it down just a teeny bit, and let's just see what a gunshot is. So that's the shot there, and it will wear off. Yep. Okay, that's lovely. All right. So we don't actually need the waveform for a minute. So we'll just close that up. All right. And what we're going to do now is we're going to this. This is where the manual thing comes in. You're going to open. Actually, now let's do that again. We'll just press T on the keyboard. It's so much quicker. Okay, so what we're going to do is, if we zoom in here, just so we get this nice and lined up, you want to go to the beginning of your solid layer, right at the very beginning, you want to keyframe 50, and you want to go to the end of your solid layer, and you want to put another keyframe in using the add keyframe remover on the left hand side, and you actually want to put the opacity to zero. So what that does is it sort of flashes and fades out. Okay, now that's pretty much it on on that side of things the next thing to do is adding in more flashes and to do this actually what we'll do is we'll just rename this flash for the time being I save it as well that's probably a good idea let's make that bigger again so we can see the screen and what we'll do is we'll duplicate this so we're going to press ctrl and d on the keyboard for duplicate or you can go edit duplicate and we're going to go back to the video press l again twice to bring out the waveform and this is where the waveform is now at its most used and you're just going to move your layer across until you hit the next gunshot or whatever you can extend these so that they just sort of fade in as the next one um, sort of appears that's you know that's just down to your preference and what we'll do now is because we've added the fill on the previous one it's duplicated it with the fill so now it's just a simple case of changing colour so we could use blue so how does blue look yeah blue looks very powerful too powerful in fact but uh, I think it'll do quite nice for the job and you can you can sort of muck around with this as much as you like and sync it and, and stuff I'm just to be honest I'm just showing you the technique I'd, I'd probably fail a lot more um, if it actually came to, to doing it in such a short space of time. If I had more time I could make it look really really nice. And we'll just pick one last colour. So we'll just go with uh let's not go with a green because that'd just be horribly bright. We'll go with an orange. That'll do. And all we do now is uh render it out. So I'll just uh, skip this one for the for the I'm gonna skip to the beginning. I'll actually cut it down a bit I think. Let's get about here because otherwise it'll take forever. So I'm just going to cut this down. This is oops. Ah, you don't have to do this. This is just me, sort of uh, tidying a few things up. 
All right, and we'll just uh, move all that forward. Right, what I'll do is I'll pause the video, uh, I'll render it, and I'll uh, I'll be back in a minute. So I'll see you in a second, guys. Okay, right, so I've rendered it out now. I'm going to warn you in advance, right? I'm not 100% how this will work. With screen capturers, they're not really great with capturing footage on screen. So what I'll do is I'll try and play this on Windows Media Player and on um, QuickTime Player. If it doesn't work, what I'll do is I'll upload it again as a single file on YouTube and I'll put a link to it. Um, on the screen, so I do apologize if, the th if this doesn't work as hoped, but hopefully you'll just be able to make out what it does at least Okay, so that was the first one I'll just look until it's finished And we'll just uh, uh, A bit small Okay, all right Okay, so that's that's basically what it is. It's just the, the flash, and I think that actually works really quite nice. Um, what I'll do is, if it hasn't worked, what I'll do is, before I actually upload this, I'll I'll check over it again, and I'll uh, I'll probably make another link to the finished version if you want to check that out. Anyway, other than that, that's me finished for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Don't forget to keep an eye on the channel because there'll be a lot of stuff going on. I've actually even started developing a a website and this is actually getting quite serious for me now um, so it's uh, a website I've been building for Modern Warfare 3 in the custom class guide and what I'll do is because I'm still working on it I've still got quite a bit of work to do it, basically on this site what I'll be doing is putting up my uh, my class guide recommendations etc on my previous channel I actually did just the videos and it got deleted and removed, so I'm going to go through, do it all again, and I'm going to make it really nice, really mint. I'll put the site um, up at some point when it's finished, but uh, hopefully, you know, to you guys that looks pretty sweet. I've made everything here, so uh, keep an eye on the channel. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Take care, have a great day, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys later.